The immune system is central to almost any class of disease imaginable. At Cincinnati Children's, researchers in our Division of Molecular Immunology are unraveling questions about how the immune system responds at a molecular level to diseases ranging from HIV to asthma and diabetes. Researchers here see immunology and inflammation as the center of the whole biomedical enterprise. They examine immune responses controlled at a molecular level so they can come up with more targeted and effective treatments for illnesses. They study inflammatory conditions that include hardening of the arteries and diabetes. They're looking into how neurogenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's, critically depend on inflammation in the central nervous system, and they're trying to figure out how to keep monogenic diseases, like cystic fibrosis, from destroying the lungs. Our researchers are expanding what we know about immune suppression associated with HIV and what mouse models can tell us about genes involved in various immune functions. The kinds of scientists who come here are drawn to the research foundation at Cincinnati Children's because it's a place with an amazing depth of science and unparalleled resources. And they come here because we do things differently. The Research Foundation uh, has a well-deserved reputation for being a very collaborative, open environment, uh, unlike many other institutions. And uh, the immunology groups here, the immunology divisions here, uh, uh, exemplify this. We've actually built them uh, for that very purpose, hiring people who are superb independent scientists, um, but who work on very different subjects, very different levels from molecular to cellular to animal models to human disease, and who can collaborate widely, not just amongst the immunologists here, but across divisional um, organ system disease divides. So it's a terrific place to do science.